In this video, we're talking about CPU threads. What are they, how do they work, and what is their application for video editors and designers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser and you're watching Don't Tech With Me, a place where you're gonna get the latest tech news and tech terms demystified for creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Like I said, in this video, we're specifically talking about threads. So what are threads? Basically, they are virtual cores. Threads are a series of programmed instructions that allow a CPU core to appear to be split into two cores. So for each core, you have two threads. So for instance, you've seen two cores, four threads, four cores, eight threads, six cores, 12 threads, and now we're all the way up to 32 cores, 64 threads. And that's a processor by AMD called the Ryzen Threadripper. This is a super big processor, also comes with a pretty solid price tag. So do all CPUs have these double cores. Um, so not all CPUs have the double thread count. So for instance, two cores, four threads. Uh, it is slowly becoming the norm, but still there are a variety of CPUs that have four cores, four threads, or eight cores, eight threads, for example. Having a processor with an even number of cores and threads is not necessarily a bad thing, but it will be slower than a processor with the ability to use this technology. So how does it work? When you take an action on your computer, such as open Photoshop, a process is started. That process creates a thread in your system. For the remainder of your actions in Photoshop, you'll be calling on a variety of threads to conduct your work in Photoshop. Processes can use multiple threads depending on the program you are using and how it is written. For specialized tasks, the more threads you have, the better. When you have multiple threads, a single process can handle a variety of different tasks. So more threads is faster, right? Like that's kind of just understood. Well, not necessarily. Some programs benefit from higher core and thread counts, while others do not. For instance, simply having more cores and threads while editing in Premiere Pro will not give you a boost in power in Premiere Pro, but it will allow you to run more tasks at the same time without slowing down your overall performance. So if I'm running Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Spotify, and a web browser all at the same time, then having more cores and threads will allow all of these programs to run simultaneously without any lag in performance. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how cores and threads work together. Plus keep an eye out on my channel for my video on clock speed. These two videos will give you a clearer picture on how to pick the right CPU for your laptop or desktop computer. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel. Again, I'm Benji Kaiser, and you're watching Don't Tech With Me, the place where you're gonna get the latest tech news and tech terms demystified. So subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos, and I'll see you here on the next episode.